Well, good morning, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for joining us again on the Higher Grounds Podcast. And this is your morning minute meditation for today. Let me share with you a simple thought out of a simple verse of Scripture. It's Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 2. The Bible says, Looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for, the, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down on the right hand of the throne of God. Now, if you're familiar with the Bible whatsoever, you realize that if you go back into the Old Testament, probably the greatest picture of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament would be Joseph. Joseph was one who had the Lord with him all the way from, we say it this way, the pit to the palace of Pharaoh and on to becoming the prince of Egypt. Only the Lord would have been able to orchestrate this journey for Joseph. So many times we view people in their life and we see how the Lord has blessed them and we immediately think something to the effect of, I wish I could be like them. I wish I could be where they are now. But the truth of the matter is we know nothing about what they have endured before they've enjoyed where they're at at that moment in life. Think about Joseph's journey. We want to be joyful without being thrown into a pit by our family members. We want to be joyful without being sold for a price to a slave, to be a slave to Potiphar. We want to be joyful without spending one day or night in prison, much less spending two years as Joseph did. We want to be joyful without potentially or purposely being forgotten by someone who we've helped with their dreams. We want to be joyful without feeling the pain of being rejected by those we love. When you think about this, maybe instead of celebrating where someone's journey, maybe we should celebrate the endurance that they've displayed along the way as well. There was a cross, the verse I just read to you out of Hebrews chapter number 12, that Christ himself endured before he enjoyed the joy that was set before him. So let us not be disturbed when trouble shows up along our way. Sometimes trouble hinders us from moving forward in our journey, but it takes some enduring to be able to find enjoyment. Let us endure to the end so that we can enjoy the blessings that God has for us. Have a wonderful day and God bless.